I'm Birdie Lee, and we're at the Waypost at the Give Back, too. And you're watching Cross the Street. How's it going? Good. We made it to the we made it to the way post. We did. Fig's on stage right now, introducing the next person. This is the band entrance. You think you can get away with that? Uh, I don't know if anybody can fit in there. <laughs> I, <laughs> I bet you. I know one person that could get us through the door. Who? I think it's it's Swiggle. <laughs> hey. hey. It's the traveling salesperson himself, Swiggle Mandela. He's about to be leaving town. When are you guys leaving? Fig leaves tomorrow. I'm gonna leave on Monday. I'm leaving on the 30th. You got a place to stay out there already? You guys get an Airbnb or doing the hotel stays? I'm gonna do the Airbnb. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna do the Airbnb. That flyer, which I'll show right here, uh, that's pretty impressive. I'm glad to see all you guys linked up, and it uh, looks like there's a whole bunch you headed out there. For sure, yeah, man. We, we, we're doing a show in LA, uh, East Hollywood to be specific. I'm putting the show on myself. So um, yeah, man, shout out to everybody that, that took the step in their career, you know what I'm saying? Dub Dynamite, Lil Ang, Noise From The Void, you know, Figure Eight, you dig what I'm saying? Um, Boski Rock, Ted Boski Lowe. Rock, Ted Lowe, you know what I'm saying? Guys that I've been knowing for years, you know what I mean? And, and some new people, but we definitely bringing that Portland, Northwest to LA, so we're gonna be there deep. We should be no proud of that. We so should be proud excited, of that. excited, yes. You noticed Birdie's shirt tonight, too. She rocking yes. the La Familia. I did. <laughs> yeah, man, and we shooting a video of West Side Boogie, so it's going to be, it's finna be crazy. It's finna be, you well, know, thank you for Thank you for always making us proud, Swiggle. We really appreciate you, my friend. And likewise, man. Y'all keep doing y'all thing, man. Bye. Love it. I'm Birdie. Boom. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Uh, uh. Okay, and they go, oh, get it. Yeah. Fly right now. What's up? It's it's lie the most yes. fries. <laughs> lie the most fries. You know, lie the most fry. Five guys. Lie the most high guy. And then high Lie the most needs five bucks for his lift ride. I, I do, but I, I think I dished out like ten bucks to a Venmo or something. So you know, it was worth it. She came up, you know. Liz, that's what happens when Liz you took care of him. Liz you took gonna care come of him. up? You gonna come up? <laughs> How you guys been since I uh, seen you last? When was, when when was, was the last, last time, time we saw you? It wasn't that long ago. Hip hop like. reunion. The yeah. hip hop reunion. Yeah. Um, I've been good. I've been. been uh, I got my studio back together, so I got the beats. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you. Can, I, I made the mean to tell you this, Jimbo. Oh, There's nothing on top of the machine studio. He actually oh. has <laughs> an exposed. Nothing. Birdie. Could you imagine my NPC at my house with a bunch of crap on top of it? That sounds ridiculous. Okay, no. but when he says a bunch of crap on top of it, it was one notebook on top of my machine studio, and then everything was to the side of it in a pile. I knew better than to put stuff on my studio. Oh you know. my gosh. Unacceptable, uh. unacceptable. <laughs> Are you performing tonight? I am, I am. I'm performing okay. a few songs uh, with my fish, uh, Merc, and the last one is the Boom Bap song. Birdie. And you know what, it's kind of crazy. Is a Boom it? Bap song without Jimbo on it, well, and Jimbo didn't produce the beat. I think there's something wrong here. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to double check about this. But you know. Can you rate the fit tonight? Let's rate his fit. Oh what do you think? Gosh. One through ten. Ten oh. being the best. Oh my gosh. One being Live dressed the like me. This guy always gets a ten in my oh, book. Jimbo, you become oh, Jimbo, you've Oh, ten. He oh, I got the ten. Yeah, because he got the life, the, the La Familia, the La Familia everything. All the everything pants. So we, you know what I'm saying? We rocking that tonight. I got that weird green on my shoes with my jacket. You know, get that collar though. Yes, he always talking about with this collar. Super flat. Da, 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 da. Birdie. Yes. Do you know my man's here? You know yeah, I, I literally love when he be watch, when he performs. It's like one of my favorite times. I'm like, da. <laughs> yeah, much love, much love. How you doing, How my friend? Doing? Good. How about yourself? I've been doing great. We've been out here. Whoa, we've been out here. Uh, you know, crossing the street and whatnot. Yeah. Are you gonna perform tonight? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I remember back when we used to have to sneak this guy into the club, Birdie. I know. He, he yeah. definitely get carded I mean, quick. I remember those days. But he, those days are gone. Well, those days are gone. We don't have yeah. to do that anymore. But 
We used to sneak yeah. him into the club so he could perform. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been here before to the way post? Yeah, I performed here at least a handful of times. So. Okay. Yeah, I enjoy it here. It's a cool little spot. Who do you think yeah. would win in a slam dunk contest between Jay Mello and Birdie Lee? Yo, Freddy. Me? Freddy. Come Freddy. say hi. Freddy. Come say hi. Freddy. Okay. Freddy. Freddy. Way uh. post part two, Rappy Dooski. Uh. We out here. Uh. Your mom and them all here. We outside now. Why we is, done uh, took our masks off. I believe that Freddie Lane is the male equivalent to a Birdie Lee spirit. Yay! I'm trying, I'm trying to get like Birdie. Y'all post all the time. Y'all post high quality content all the time. It's, it's an inspiration to keep going, honestly. 2023, big energy all the time. Let's That's go. what we're doing is big moves. I'm just trying to get like Jimbo. I'm trying to get like Birdie. Shout out Liz. Shout out to the whole across the street. I saw y'all outside and I was like, hey, yo. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm gonna say what's up. Cause y'all, y'all be putting on, man. Like, and it's and it's consistent too. Like y'all even did the barber the other day. Shout out, shout out to all of uh, Portland. Yes. Coda B. Coda B. Coda B. Oh. How you been, friend? I've been great, man. You have been busy. I saw you were making some beats last week. Yeah, I've been uh, trying to put together this album. A bunch of real content, too. I like the freestyles that you've been doing at the desk there. Thank you, yeah. Or they're written, I guess, but again, they look dope. Yeah, you know, I, I uh, the, the real content was, has really just been what I've been trying to put out. You know, just, just producing stuff from scratch is really fun. And, Birdie, uh, they put together the reel of me and figure eight with the spoons and the pie. Oh, and yeah. the, it's pretty <laughs> so disgusting and nice work. No, I, I've, I've loved working across the street too, man. Shout out across the street. This shit's awesome. Uh, we appreciate you, man. Of course. I'm always here. I wonder if they got anything good to eat here. Oh, oh do. I don't, yeah. We have to see. But I wanted to do sneaker check because oh, he has go. my favorite sneakers. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Those are so beautiful and perfect. We got the Nyjah 2s. Nyjah 2s. Okay, okay. Let's I see go. you. Hey. How are you, G? Hey. Nyjah 2s. I got, I got these for 50 bucks at Zoomies right now. They're on sale. Let's play them cool. This is this is why we get to do this. Right. Oh, yeah? Yep. Come he's, on over. Here's the way. No, I don't like being on camera. Sorry, I'm like really shy about camera stuff. All oh. right. Well, that's the reason you get to do this. Yeah. Is the masked man. Oh, he's fantastic. Shout out this man and shout out the way post. I'll say that. There we go. I'll there say we that. go. Hello. Good performance so far. Looks like everybody's having a great time. Yeah, we're really happy. Give back. We're giving back. Uh, pretty dope experience. I keep saying it as many times as I can. Shout out to Rappy Dooski. And you're going to be on there soon as well, I believe. Big ups to our monthly sponsor, Rappy Dooski and PDX Radio. Submit your music to prettydopesubmissions at gmail.com and Rappy Dooski will get you played on his credited radio station. Big ups to Rappy. We're going to give the uh, what percent of the proceeds tonight? Uh, 15%. 15% I of the proceeds. I think proceeds. we started at 10 and we moved it up to 15 since we're do it's people are here. Birdie, I'm going to go see Rappy Dooski on the 30th. And we'll have a nice little bag set up here for him, courtesy of the gentleman here tonight. So. Yes! We really appreciate you guys being out here, Rappy Dooski carrying the wave post. This is only our second time doing it. And yeah, I like giving back. I'm glad it's going well. Thank All you right. guys for coming. I think that deserves a nice group hug. Yes, group hug. Group hug. My dad oh. and my aunt. Good time. Julie, Julie, hey, Julie. Oh my God. What's up, Mr. Hawa? How are you? How you doing, man? I just, uh, I'm ready to cross the street one more again. You know nice what I'm saying? Nice sweater. Sweater of the night goes to Mr. Julian Hawa. Oh, nice. Is there anybody else with a better sweater? I don't you know think so. Saying? I don't see one. You could, uh, you could say I'm reminiscent of a TV show father and uh, doctor. Uh, what are you man? doing on the 31st? You going to be available on the 31st? What's going down? That's like a couple days from now. Uh, I'm going to meet my friend Jeremy Duger down at the Rockwood Market Hall for an episode across the street. And we're going to talk Rockwood Market Hall. I would love to pull up and be a part of that conversation, man. I, you know, hey, I've been dubbing myself Mr. Rockwood, man. I'm going to do for the hood and do all good, you know what I'm saying? So if anything for my people that we're going to discuss on, I'd love to be there, you know what I'm saying, for that. Also, I got a string of shows coming through. Come out and represent for the east side. You know, we know how Portland always got these wonderful, amazing shows like here at the Waypost, you know what I'm saying? Things out in Vancouver, you know, Studio 21, Hillsboro and such. Man, most of us all live on the east side. Let's go ahead and just support each other, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, I'm so glad to see it's like you. It's like 17th of the Third Eye Goonies. Yes. There's like a million of them now. Hey, we, we gotta get them over here though, you know what I'm saying? They always, see, they're, they're never together. We're like, never together. Wait, wait, wait. How many times have we, gotta, we, gotta, we tried to organize all of you guys together hey, in bro, one they, interview? It'll never, never happen. Never <laughs> happen. You know, you know, you know what I'm we were really trying out here, but. Did you guys off. already get to perform? Not yet. We're about to go on like two hours. 
two hours? <laughs> nah, he's coming up. Oh, he's lying. Yeah, we're gonna go up there and I hope you get some, you know, dope shots somehow, you know? Because uh, we're about to kill this shit for real. How was the show in, was it Albany that you just went to? That shit was pretty dope, man. Was it dope? Was the trip it was, the long drive? Long it was drive a long drive. drive. It, was, it, was, it was worth it. It was worth it. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was up. It was up. We had fun. Definitely gained some more fans that night. Okay. All right. T tonight we're hoping to gain some more. There's a bunch of people yeah. faces here. Oh, you already know, you know you about to see. Yeah. The kids yeah. do what they do. You know. Right. Swiggle and figure eight and all those guys. They're all headed out to California. Uh, beautiful, beautiful man. Isn't that great? I wish everybody... I could go with them, but I got other things I got to handle. You know what I'm saying? But because like, Swiggle really just. He's like, yo, opportunity here. You take it or you don't. You know what I'm saying? And that's beautiful. Like how he helps people. The fact that they're going out there and doing their thing. Like they got a little Ange going with them. A uh, bunch of other yeah, know, our, names uh, friends. Boski Rock, Ted Lokes in the head. You with know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Great, great group of guys headed out there. So I'm excited. Representing for that. Portland you know down to the soul, Cal. Hey. <laughs> Bertie, he saw the camera, and guess what? He's a fellow photographer as well. Oh what's, my your, what's your name, young man? I'm David. Y'all can call me Guru, David, whatever you want to call me. Guru. I go by Guru. Yeah. He said he's new to town. Where are you from? I'm from Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. What brings you to the Northwest? Well, uh, I work at a dispensary now, so it's... <laughs> Bertie, how many times have we heard people come to Oregon because of the legal cannabis it's, situation? Yes. I, right now, you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, my brother, he was trying to convince me to come out here. So you uh, came here with your friend Moody Pax, correct? Yeah. All and right. He's been doing his music stuff forever, so he, it's, it's great to see him just do this shit and it's just coming to fruition, you know? It's That's amazing, exciting. you know? Nice swag, too. You're fitting into the Northwest real nice here. Oh, man, really? I just threw something on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super casual, classy. You know, appreciate you, though, bro. Yeah, no problem. Make sure you check in with us at the show there. Uh, yes, big sir. ups to our monthly sponsor this month, too. We might as well go ahead and get that in. David Jefferson and Stacking Kicks. I got my Stacking Kicks hat on today. We don't have our camera, too, here to show you, but you can catch Mr. Jefferson at the mall. He's at Lloyd Center now. So check in on Mr. Luke Jefferson there, and you can pick up your Stacking Kicks clothing. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for your time, sir. No problem, brother. Cheers. Well, she ran away, but. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> right, right. She's like, no, you ain't having no interview tonight. How many of y'all are here? Are you got the whole group here tonight? Yes, sir, man. We got five of us. Uh, how many yeah. songs are you guys going to do tonight? Uh, we're doing snippets. We're only doing 15 minute sets, so. Okay. Yeah, you know, we get. Have you ever seen him perform before, Bernie? Uh... I don't think I have. Super high energy, super funky, um, something a little different from what we normally get to see. So a lot of different stuff, man. We our uh, our music's all over the board, you know. Just we don't have any limits to anything. We're doing funk, R&B, hip hop, funk hop, uh, trap hop, trap funk. We're actually doing some trap funk a little in there. Wow. So it's a lot of different stuff going on. Yes, it is. Yeah, Bernie. Oh my gosh, Guess what? Fresh off the stage. Fresh yes. off the stage. It's Moody Pax. How are you, my friend? Oh, I'm feeling beautiful. Great job. Nice performance up there. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, shit, I, I love doing this. I love the support that I get from everybody. I love just getting out to be able to support and just, you know, display the, the energy and the creativity that I want to show to everybody. I hear from Houston originally, right? Oh, yeah, most definitely. We spoke to your friend out here. He was standing out here waiting for you to perform. We spoke to your friend. Uh, what's yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Julian, or are you talking about my homie David? David, the guru? there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's my homie. We've been rocking since seventh grade. Yeah, you got and... nice shoes on tonight. Oh, man, that man there is fly. Yeah, if you need some stuff, you need some tips on some good status, uh, on good some fashion status, go hit that man up. Well, yeah. we look forward to seeing you participate more here in the scene, I take it, right? Most definitely, yeah. I love to get out as much as possible, you know, even if it's just supporting, you know, I love to just be out there. But I, I usually spoke with him. Stars. Oh, that's Birdie. why you forgot him. He. We found one of the fellow stars of the bazaar. He's the newest member of the stars yes, sir, of the bazaar. Yes, What's your name, sir? Measy, Mister Five Hundred Three, man, straight from the land. I'm a local guy. You know what I'm saying? And I put it down for the town. Babies gotta eat. That's my movement, and that's what I'm about. You the got future. the same energy as the rest of the yes, stars sir. of the bazaar. Hey, we turned up. Bazaar is really what bazaar is. We got the out of the ordinary, outside the box things that we do, man. We got funk, hip hop, rock, 
if I, we, we really trying to do as much as we can without it sounding like a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo, good vibes, good music. Nobody use profanity in the group. How about dancing? Who's the best dancer? He's a good dancer. Hey, 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 it might be me. He's it might be the man. Hey, it might be me, man, because I'm the youngest, newest member. R.P. to Fly Trapper. You know what I'm saying? Fly Chopper was a dope dude, and it's an honor for me to be a part of the stars. You know what I'm saying? That we, we take everything serious. It's more than just, you know, having a passion. If you got a passion about something in life, and you end up getting into business, make sure you don't forget your passion. Because then if you get all up in the business too much, you won't have fun in your life. You see what I'm saying? You won't be fun with what you do. These dudes right here, the Stars of Bazaar, we're all about passion first. We're about each other. We put people first, period. Like all your stuff, wonderful. share your stuff. Uh, That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. He's You're, about to go on stage. I love it. I'm so excited. It's literally about to be the livest show. Woo. It is going to be the livest show. I didn't show. see Scotty here tonight. No, Scotty. Scotty is not oh. going to be with us. I will be singing all of Scotty's parts tonight. Yeah. Who's going to be holding? <laughs> who's going to be holding Young Jedi in the air? We're going to find the strongest person in the crowd and make Ooh. them. Do it. I'm so excited. <laughs> That's my favorite part. It's I'm like, be the strongest yeah. person in the crowd. It's we were standing at the last show, and I told Birdie, I said, Birdie, they're going to do Drunk and Loud. It's going to get a little crazy. Yeah. And she, she does. He she said if me. anybody had any beer, it would be everywhere. You and they would throw cans. Man, you know what's really fun about that song, <laughs> Drunk and Loud? Uh, Matt made that beat. And he it, he showed it to me, and at the time we were doing like a bunch of real underground like lyrical hip hop, and he showed me this beat, and he was like, I don't really think it's our style, and I was like, bro, it's fucking my style, like I love yeah, this, it's and he's like, all right, like take it home with you, if you don't have a hook by tomorrow, I'm gonna sell it to somebody, and then I was drunk driving to the bar to meet Nick with that beat <laughs> playing on repeat. And it's and I fucking came up with the hook while I was driving. I pulled up at the bar, and Nick was there waiting for me, and I was like, bro, listen to this shit I just came up with. And that's how Junk It Loud happened, bro. Oh, <laughs> everybody was singing. Everybody was doing dancing. It was oh, amazing. Yeah. It's, uh, it's if, if we ever get famous, that will be the song that does it. You know, it's like 10 years old now, but like fucking people still enjoy it. So. I like that uh, Scotty got a break at the last show and there was a bit of a stage there for him to not have to stand up as much. The knees have gotten bad over I the years. I love Scotty. I love Scotty so much. <laughs> He's on one song on every album we've released. <laughs> He's like the unofficial memory. He's on one song on all the albums. Well, I think we went home with a little bit of Scotty Preston sweat on us from the last yes. show. <laughs> yes, oh, you can, Yeah, don't wash that shirt. You can sell that. He's a uh, are you serious? <laughs> I think I already watched it. Dang it. All right. I think I got to get on go stage. stage. I got to get on stage. Hey, right. oh cross gosh. the street. Jim Let's Bones. Go. Let's hey. check it out. <laughs> hey. How are you? Good, good. I'm doing good tonight. Um, we just had our first uh, successful Northwest Rising showcase that uh, I put on. It was all Native American rap showcase. No one in the city had really seen anything like that before. And so I've been in talks with Seville to actually do like a tribal showcase that goes from reservation to reservation all the way across the West Coast. That's an idea. If not, we're gonna book in a lot of local artists for the next uh, Northwest Rising show that'll just put on local talent around the city. Around April, kind of slow down a little bit and just plan things out and make sure there's proper time to promote and Birdie. just put the community on. Yeah. Let's make them dance. Yes, what is your favorite go-to dance though before oh, we start? I got two right legs, so I can't really dance that well. Oh no, <laughs> cause we're gonna do a five second dance off. Here we go. Be here in two seconds. Boom! Here he is. How you doing, Killings Wars? Good to see you. You know, making it work, making it work. You here to support the local scene tonight, I take it? Yeah, I'm just chilling and shit, you know. Came to uh, support the homies and the people I don't know, you know. Yes, what's your favorite dance move? I, I just be, uh, just be cooking. Oh, oh, oh he be uh, cooking in the kitchen. Uh, cooking. You got that one too, Birdie? Let me do it. But, but it's just, my right hand you, you know, you can, you can do it like that, like, like it's up close, and then you can like, it's away from you a little oh, bit. No, away from and you. And you might gotta and do a heart, and then you gotta okay. get down with it. Yes. And then you might gotta like, you know, dig some shit out of the show. No, that shit looks hella nice. Do 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 do. Check check. Do do do. When you know on the day I get my hair cut, we run into Steelo Key, who is famous for his haircut. And it's not on point today. <laughs> 
so we You'll are have to go see, going go see my guy Fat Boy down at uh, Very Rare Barbers. He took care of me today. Big ups to Fat Boy. Thank you, I, my friend. I, I'll definitely have to do that. You got to plug me in with that, Jimbo. We'll plug that in. <laughs> we leave one link per show. Let's do that one. Yes, we'll leave Fat Boy's definitely. information downstairs. How's Cross Street been? We have been busy. We are here tonight covering this event, of course, the Give Back 2. Um, we're going to go down and visit Rapiduski on the 30th of this month. And, uh, Are you guys going down to L.A. with everybody? We're not, but in honor of them being gone, Figure 8 said that we are going to collect the money tonight from what they made during the give back, number two. Yes! And I'm going to present that to Rappy there on the 30th. So. All right, hell yeah. Your go-to dance move. Looks like he goes with the uh, frozen uncle. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, five second dance off! Go. Here we go! <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> Birdie okay, wins again. Dance. You're undefeated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the more friendly creatures that we've seen oh my tonight. Gosh. Oh my goodness. They were just playing drunk and loud. And I said, oh, I got to go inside. They're playing drunk and loud. She's like, oh, that sounds like my song. I should be in there. Yes. <laughs> yep. How are you doing, friend? Good. How are you? Busy as usual. You brought yes. your trusty sidekick with you tonight. Yes, this yes. is courage. I need to fix this harness so don't. Judging. Oh yeah, Judge. <laughs> he's well. Courage. Trust me, well taken care of. Come here, well taken care of. He's chewing on rocks right now. He's so oh. cute. He's so soft. How Does he rub your he? nose on you in he's, the morning and wake you up? Yes, and he's four months old. Oh, four, four months. Yeah, he's almost on the twenty seventh, which is what's today's tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's pretty much your birthday, dude. It's Yay! Like, it's midnight. Happy it's, four months. Courage. Happy birthday. Oh. Yes. How are you gonna play he was like just that? letting me pet him. Yeah. Hey, Craig, yeah. come on. Come, come say hi. Like I love animals. Bag, 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 bag of dogs for a, a week kind of thing? Oh, because I didn't give him a little bit of my treat earlier. Actually, He's oh, mad yeah. at me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't believe he just played you like that on camera. <laughs> she eats everything, including bananas. So. Yes. Bananas, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh. Hey, Courage. Oh, you're yeah. such a beautiful boy. How you doing, buddy? Boy. How you doing? Oh, it's Fig and Dumb Dynamite. Dumb Do we dynamite. always get Dumb on it through the window? Yeah, we always get hey. Dumb through the window. You go. <laughs> <laughs> That's young Ned, but that'll work. The hardest person to get in event coverage is always the DJ. Yes, go DJ, go DJ, go. The hardest. What's up, what's up, what's up? The we DJs, you guys are always so busy, it's hard to get you guys on I know. camera. I'm fucking stuck in my own little prison back there the whole yes, show. You're killing it, though. Oh I appreciate God. that. Super fun show. Hell yeah, fucking, you know, that's what we do out here, fucking, we get back at the way post, fucking, I'm just blessed that Dub Dynamite and Figure 8 keep getting me a part of this thing. I love DJing, Jimbo knows I stay one of the hardest working DJs in the city, so, especially got, when it's events like this. You, you got, got a bunch of shows, you got some shows coming up too, right? Yeah, actually, the next show I got is on the uh, 3rd of February over at the Mississippi Pizza Hub. Okay. for the function and then on the fourth I'm DJing for Trendsetter who's coming into town and he's a big up and coming artist at the Big Legrowski. Every time I go to the Mississippi Pizza Birdie I buy a $45 pizza every time. Oh my goodness. It must be it. really good. Your pizza's immaculate. <laughs> it's slash. Yes it is. <laughs> I like your necklace. It has a hummingbird. Well, what do you got there? Oh uh, yeah this is uh, my tribal seal. This is the hummingbird. I uh, belong to the Amamuts and Tribal Bands. And then I also got the uh, Arcadia with the little heart Ooh. underneath it. Shouts out to my partner Gabriel for getting it for me for, my, for Christmas. So, Birdie's undefeated. We're having five second dance competitions to see if you can beat Birdie Lee. Oh, okay. Ready, go. Here we go. Uh, uh, Ooh, uh, that might be a strong competition there, Birdie. That's a draw. I think you might be the closest one. Wow. That was pretty good. He was getting it. I like that. <laughs> Can we start this over? Where is Papa Snipe at? Where is Papa Snipe? Fucking at my house right now, sleeping because he has to work tomorrow. I don't know why he's not here. Let's go. Dance Same off. time. Uh, 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 Come on over and take a twist. Uh, uh, uh. Birdie. Yes! We talked to Drew Man too. He gave us the backstory of Drunk and Loud. He said he just rolled drunk driving to a bar <laughs> to, to hang out with y'all and discuss the song that he had wrote in the car. 
Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, he basically was like, Matt, you don't drink anymore. Um, I have this song that's about drinking. How do you feel? And I was like, well, I'm, I'm down. I, I'm still like drunk in my mind. I'm, you know, like, uh, I can still get drunk and loud even if I'm sober. So, um, but yeah, I, I sampled that track from the soundtrack of the first Young Guns. Ooh. So... It was like, it's at the very beginning of the movie when it's all smoky and they're all chilling and then bam, it goes in, you know, it's like they start shooting and shit. And I'm like, dude, that's, that's a song like that. It reminded me of like what you would hear if you walked into an Irish pub in 1910. Do you know what? Do you know what the man, the stranger standing next to me during your set said? I wonder what Irish hip hop would sound like. That is exactly what he said to me. Oh and I think God. that's, I think that's, I think that's what it's like. When did Fury get raised? When did Fury get raised? When did, when did that happen? When was the first time? The first time. That we, that we, on the shoulders of Mr. Preston was raised. Like, when did that become a thing thing? It was definitely, I think that, I think that it became a thing at Jesse Sponberg's, uh, like campaign show. Oh. I think that was the first time that that he got up on the shoulders and then it was like, okay, the crowd went crazy, that's it. That's and you know. Well again every time that, that doesn't happen, the song is a little bit lackluster. <laughs> I was looking at the, I was looking at the ceiling and thought this could be problematic anyway, but yeah. He would have done it. And I can't lift him up, so. Yeah. No, I literally, I love your dance moves. It looked like you were like a pro out there, and you were like, boom, boom, boom. I was screaming the whole time, like, rocking you on. I just love it. I, uh, I'm a real big fan of MC Hammer. Oh. <laughs> I used to do the hammer dance. I used to do the all. We're going to show the running man. I'll show it right here. Yes. There's uh, the running uh, man uh, that, that you uh, performed uh, on stage. Uh, uh, it was yes, very classic. Very classic. So good. I try to, I try to keep it extra white. That was my favorite, That's though. My favorite part. <laughs> that was literally my favorite part of the whole time was you dancing. you got to do it every show. I, I think I'm going to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start. Yeah, like, it's going to be my thing. <laughs> As long as I don't run out of breath. Oh yeah, because you're like you swish it up and like. <laughs> that's what Drew said. He said when when Christina when Lady X scratches, that's when they catch their breath. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the joint. So it's like yeah, catching our breath, but then I'm gonna dance. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. True professional tonight. You guys yeah. killed it. Peace. Cheers. Cheers. Hi. I know. I sorry to interrupt. Oh no, by all means. Yeah, let me get out of the frame. You can see it if you want. Fresh off stage. Yes. Fresh off stage. No First of all, we'd like to say thank you so much for the invite to the family reunion too. We had a fantastic Did you have fun? time. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Like you're having fun. So much fun. That was like my one of the top events now. She top that, top if that. If you were anyone in the industry, you were there. Holy moly. What was we dope? What was dope was that we we uh, sold out, right? But if you went outside, the party outside was just as dope as the party inside. So like the people that couldn't get in, they were still just like party, right? It was a great time. We left there, cold, hot, sweaty, cold again, hot and sweaty again. <laughs> Tired. Your feet hurt. Tired. Feet hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. This was fun. You looks like you had a great time tonight with Bad yeah, Habitat, it was fun. of course. I love small venues like this, you know. Oh my gosh. You are the most amazing. I love when you scratch, like, literally. I just, like, you're just like. Oh, and I, all the way halfway, actually, more than halfway through that, my turntable was on a, the wrong setting down here. Oh my god. So my scratches weren't even as dope as they should have been. Are you? Like, yes. That's why I redid that one song. I, I, said, saw, I didn't redo it. Drew, Drew was even talking to you during your during yeah. your moment. And then the drummers too tried to go, and I was like, "Hey, can you hold up on this one real quick?" <laughs> oh, I was wondering where you went. Flex on myself. <laughs> where, where, where can we see you next? Where can we find you next? Okay, so we know you like to take breaks. I gotta look. I, I mean, I gotta pull it out. I gotta look. So I'm gonna see. guess it's somewhere local. It's, Downtown, it's downtown. It's downtown, right? Great. One for one. Let's check it. I'm gonna okay. guess that it's probably gonna be awesome. So actually, the third, I put the pop-up comedy show. I put in there, so I didn't book. We uh, shared a drink at the bar before we started, a professional Ooh. manner, and 
we talked to Lady X, and I think that she is going to start oh. to provide some more content for us on the yeah. internet. Yeah, well, I need your help with that. Well, all the help you need is right here. I'm like here. a dinosaur right now. Like, I feel like my daughter's like, no, Mom, this is how you do it. I'm like, shut the fuck up! You have the best resource in the world, then. You have a, you have a No, youngster. she doesn't want anything to do with it. She's uh, like, go ask Jimbo. That's what she's telling me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, we sat down and talked for a while, and, like, even just, what, 10, 15, 20 minutes of picking your brain, I already have, like, ideas, you know? Well, bring it in. Yeah. We always love seeing Lady The book, the book, the book chat. The book chat. I know, it's my favorite. <laughs> you know, like, Bernie's, like, perfect height for that. Come here, come to mom, come to mom. Like, Jared, Bernie, before before any of this is even like a thing, when I first started this entire journey, I stumbled into a backyard of a friend one time, and I met a man sitting on a picnic table. Bye. And I just threw the microphone on him. Honestly, he's probably like one of the first three people I've ever interviewed in my life. Wow. So, well, so nice to, nice to How are you, Alonzo? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. The last day time, off. <laughs> the last time we saw you, it was a different story. Uh -huh. Looks better today. What's better today? Yeah, what's uh, better today? Oh, well, I'm well employed. I'm comfortable. You know, um, enjoying some hip hop. Good um, show tonight, huh? On the search of love. <laughs> <laughs> For real, that's nice real shit. Nice but uh, fit. yeah, man, this is assholes live forever. And everybody's got an asshole, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. We met a businessman. Yes, we did. Here he is. What's your name, sir? Oh, yeah, I'm Tay oh. Tugong. You know what I'm saying? The freshman I'm playing. No, no, I'm Tay Tugong. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I'm just the little brother of the Star Bazaar introduction. You know what I'm saying? The new appearance. Hey, they did a great job tonight. Did. Super fun. Yeah, they did. Yes, didn't they, though? Big made they the did. Comment. They had the whole little club party. With the Star Bazaar. Hey, everybody pop it. Like, I said, like I said, we got a con conglomerate of a lot of stuff. Funk. Hip hop, we got the pop. We we were trying to work on the rock, but we we trying to just like touch all bases and walks of life. Oh my God! Look what we got! Something special. Thank you. <laughs> what am I supposed to? I don't know. Just say <laughs> hello. Sneaker check me. It's Sne nice. Oh, 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 what do we got? Last time Let's I was go. wearing I was sneaker wearing check. Last time. Those are nice though. Um, they're not sneakers though. There we go. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. <laughs> I like that the sneaker check has like gone by request now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, you didn't last time, and I like forgot to remind you. Yes. Wear <laughs> your nice sneakers and make sure you stretch now because we're it's doing. Okay. I can wear them again since you didn't catch it. Bernie, yeah. Tuck. Five second dance battle. Five Yo. second dance battle. Yo, five second dance battle. Ready? What's your favorite move? Go. I, I don't Here know. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go, 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 there we go. go, go. Hey. hey. Videos, super fun, super entertaining. He was killing it, acting all the way. Anyways, <laughs> how are you doing? Actually, I just want to oh, say hi. there you hi. go. Look at that. Look at that. Birdie great. loves someone Yay. her own height. She loves that. I'm doing great. It's a good night. We're crossing the street. Birdie, is that the first time on the show that you've ever been taller than anyone? Yes, uh, I think so. And he's so tall. He's like super tall. So I feel great up here. I feel like I can see the world in another perspective. Good yeah. job tonight, Dub. Place was full. Place was smiling. Um, bartenders look happy. Patrons were happy. Yay! Now, you, now you just got to make it home safe, right? Yeah, I stay three blocks away. Perfect. We did it! Uh, Woo! Right through the evening. Shouts out to Coda B filming us right now. Way yes, go Coda. go Coda! We had a great time tonight. Big ups to Dub Dynamite, Figure Eight. Um, the Give Back too. what a great event. Such an amazing event. Everybody performs so high energy just up to here. Drunk and Loud, Bad Habitat, Third Eye Goonies were tearing it up. Yes! There was a bunch of great people there. Yes! <laughs> and you're watching Cross, Cross the, the Street! street.